Hey guys, it's Tanelian. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to the fam. I'm so glad to see you guys. We're going to be doing another beauty on the budget today. So that means we're going to the drugstore and we're going to see some of the amazing products that they have that you can do your makeup for without bending the bank. So these are the things that I found that works for me. If you guys have tried these as well, please comment down below and let me know. But without further ado, let's go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to start off is with primer. So I'm going to be priming my face today with the e.l.f. Puff Puff Primer. This one is actually pretty new to the market, but I'm going to try it out and see how it goes. I've never tried this one out before, so let's see. So I'm going to use my hands um, just to warm it up because uh, I like when I mix the ingredients and kind of like activate them. You could use a brush if you want, but I just prefer to use my hands. So I'm just going to apply that. Um, this one's a little bit kind of like sticky-ish, but it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. It doesn't have like a really strong scent. Okay, so to so now prime my eyes, I'm gonna be using another product from e.l.f. Cosmetics, which is their Putty Eye Primer. Um, I've heard a lot of good things about this. I've never tried it, so let's try it now. I think it's like a different kind of color though. It's not transparent and it kind of has like a little bit of like a grayish, kind of whitish uh, tone to it. So we're gonna try that. Um, I'm not gonna use my fingers for this. I'm actually gonna be using a buffing concealer brush just to get the most payoff from it. I'm going to apply this onto my eyelids like so. So now that I've put the eye primer onto my eyes, I'm going to let that sit a little bit and while I do that, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So the eyebrow products I'm going to be using today, I'm going to be using a brow gel and also a brow tint pen and both of them are from NYX Cosmetics. I believe they have the best eyebrow products hand down for drugstore. And so the first one is the brow glue by NYX Cosmetics. I have tried this one before and it is pretty good. It does allow your eyebrows to stay up. And in place all day and with the tint pen I've been trying to go for more of a natural brow so what I like about the tint pen is that it does give you more of like a hair like structure or a hair like stroke when it comes to your eyebrows for the tint pen I'm using the lift and snatch in espresso this is more of like a black brown so it'll give it more of a natural color so as you guys can see the consistency is like a very kind of like sticky kind of gooey texture so this should be able to hold our eyebrows in place I'm just gonna apply it like that and you can see that instantly it kind of just like makes my eyebrow hair stay up which is great for like if you're going for like that fluffy brow or like a very natural look and I really like it, it actually stays in place very well uh, a lot of drugstore eyebrow gels like they don't hold like this so if you're looking for a good one this definitely holds your eyebrow hair in place So now that this is drying, I kind of like to take my fingers and kind of like lift it up a bit like this so it stays in place. It's already getting tacky so I already know it's going to like stick and stay in place. My hair is not going to move which is great because sometimes I do have like the one or two that come down like this and they just kind of like look weird. So yeah, that's what that's like. So now I'm going to be taking my tint pen and like I'm going to go in places where I think I need a little bit of like extra hairs so for me I'm gonna focus more on the front because I believe like my front is a little bit more sparse uh, and then I'm just gonna go with the natural flow of my eyebrows because I don't want to go in like any other direction where it's gonna look kind of weird and like unnatural and I like that the tint is like just enough it's not like too strong where it's like I look like I have sharp eyebrows so you guys know I love to carve out my eyebrows, so I'm going to be using a concealer from L'Oreal. It's their new True Match Eye Cream Concealer. It has 0.5 pure hyaluronic acid in it, so it's great for under your eyes if you have like dry under eyes and you want like a concealer and moisturizer in one. But I'm going to be using this also just to carve out my brows. Um, I'm going to be using it later for under my eyes as well, but I'm going to carve out my brows with this as well. So I'm just taking like a flat brush and I'm just going to apply it right underneath. This concealer is more of a lighter consistency, so it would give you more of like a natural finish to under the eyebrows. 
Okay, as you can see, the color of this concealer is a little bit light, a little bit darker, sorry, than usual. I want it to look a little bit darker because I don't want my eyebrows to be the highlight of this look. And it's also more sheer, which I really like. It's not going to be too much coverage. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just carving that out. And now that I'm almost done carving it out, I'm going to take a brush and I'm actually going to blend all this out into my eyes and up to my forehead. Okay, now that I've finished my eyebrows and my eyes have been set with the primer, it's time to go in with the eye look. Today I'm going to be using the Revolution Megastar Crystal Luxe Palette. This palette does come in some other colors as well, but this palette really stood out to me because I really like warm and neutral colors with a little bit of glitter. So that's why I'm going to go in with this. Um, I'm probably going to go in for like more of like a brown, bronzy kind of look. Um, something neutral, but something glam. Well. Uh, so I'm gonna go in with a shade over here. Let's see. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna be doing is going in with the transition color, and the color I'm gonna be going in with is actually called shade. So it's this color right here. It's like a kind of like a taupey kind of color. So I'm just gonna apply that in my crease with a fluffy brush and kind of just like disperse this color as a start off base, so that I'll know where else to put the other. a little bit of a light brown kind of ashy brown tone into my crease but I kind of want to darken it up so I'm gonna be going in with the color caramel which is a little bit darker and kind of mixing it with this color I think it's called Chianti so I'm gonna mix those two colors and just apply this into my crease as well so you can see like I'm just darkening up the crease a little bit and the color payoff on this is just so beautiful the colors blend really nicely they're like creamy colors, so they're not bad when it's blending. I like when I'm looking for eyeshadows for the pigments to kind of slide off my fingers. Then you know that it's going to blend so beautifully. But Revolution has really nice palettes. Their pigments are just out of this world. Like, I just love them. So I'm going to be going in, darkening the out, like the edges. I was going to say outer edges, but I said ouch. <laughs> but outer edges, and I'm going to bring that in my crease. Just for more on the outer. I don't really want it too much on the inner part of my eyes. But I'm gonna go like so. To kind of like blend this whole outer thing going on that I have right now um, together, I'm just gonna go back with the fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kind of just blend it all together. I'm not being too like precise because I want it to look smoky and like dispersed. But yeah, so I'm just focusing on the edges as you can see, not really touching my inner corner. Okay, so now that we're done with that outer corner, we're going to start focusing on the inner. I'm not going to do a cut crease today. I kind of want to do something a little bit more um, like softer. So I'm going to be using my fingers actually because when it comes to pigments or like glittery colors, I really like to use my fingers because I feel like that has the most payoff. Okay, so to add a transition shade, I'm going in with this color Vino and this color is more of like a darker mulberry color and I'm going to use this as like my medium transition shade so I'm gonna apply that right in the middle like that and this just allows my makeup look to kind of transition into like a very nice gradient because I am gonna put a lighter color in the inner corner but there you go you can see how it has like that nice transition and what I like to do is like every time I put a new uh, shadow in I like to take like my brush and kind of just blend the two together just so everything is like together and it just flows so now I'm gonna go in with like a shimmery kind of color in the inner corner and to do that I'm just gonna brush so I'm gonna go in with the shine I like it because the glitter is not too chunky um, and it's also like a really nice um, kind of pink color it just brings like a little bit of light into this kind of dark look so you can see right away it brightens up my eyes and it just has a really nice uh, cohesion to it because it all the colors are like pink it's like a light kind of mulberry burgundy color with a little bit of brown so I'm just gonna apply that in here I do have a 
a little bit of sparkles on my face. I think it's because like I had originally tried one of these shadows and the sparkly ones and it just was not working for me. So I wiped it off with like all of my face now. But that's okay. Um, I'm gonna go back in with my dark mulberry color and kind of just like blend these two out right here. So it's more together. Okay, and now we're almost done with the eye look. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop a really bright, beautiful highlight color right under my brow bone. Brow bone. Oh my god, I can't talk. <laughs> I'm going to put uh, this color under my brow bone just so that it makes or lifts this eye look and makes it look a little bit more prettier. So again, I'm going to just wet my brush with setting spray and I'm going to actually go in to the color angelic which is this one right here and I'm going to get my brush like this and I'm going to pop this right under my brow bone which is right here just so I can get that really nice highlight and as you can see like the highlight is very subtle which is what I want I kind of want it to be more subtle instead of really bright so it doesn't take away from the eye look that I'm already doing And now to blend those together, I'm just going to go back in with a fluffy brush and just blend just the top together like this and this top together like that. So for my foundation, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Full Coverage Protective Foundation. It does have sunscreen in it with an SPF of 50. So if you're going out during the day, this is a perfect foundation if you're too lazy to put sunscreen and foundation. This is something that's combined. So I really like this one because it's also very lightweight. You don't, you can't really tell that you're wearing foundation with this, which is what I really like. And it does protect your skin. They come in a lot of different shades. So I'm pretty sure you can find a shade for yourself. So I just like to like apply it all over my face. That. and I'm going to be taking one of my favorite brushes which is also from the drugstore it's the Quo Beauty Brush and this one is the um, HD Foundation Brush and it just like really seamless, seamlessly sorry, um, kind of blends my makeup into my face see like look how smooth it is what I also like about this is because it has sunscreen I feel like it gives you like that extra glow that you need nowadays because you know we're all looking mad tired well i don't know about you guys but i look super super tired all the time and i feel like when i'm not wearing makeup like if i just put like a little bit of sunscreen on my face like my face just glows and just looks like i've got like gallons of water i drink gallons of water and like i just eat super healthy and like i take my vitamins um but yeah i just really like how this looks like you can already see like i didn't really set my face or anything yet but like you can see that my face has like a healthy glow to it and if you're not really about that glow life you could also put some translucent powder on it so you can tone down the glow but i really like this glow i think it makes my skin look healthy it makes it look very um youthful so yeah I just love how this brush can get in like every nook and like cranny <laughs> so it gets like everywhere I love it okay so now that we're done with the foundation I'm gonna go in with the same L'Oreal true match concealer to conceal under my eyes and to be honest I didn't get any sleep last night so under my eyes are really dry I mean I could put eye cream but I really want something to hydrate my eyes during the day so that's why I really like the True Match Eye Cream Concealer. Um, it does hydrate the eyes, so I really like that. And I'm just going to go in right with the tip because it has a really nice precise tip to kind of allow you to go in your eyes with it like this. And instead of taking a beauty blender, I'm actually going to go back with the same brush. And I'm going to go right under my eyes and I'm just going to like get up in. Okay, so now that we have our concealer and our foundation down packed and we're glowing, it's time to set this so that it stays on all day. It depends on how matte you want your look to look. Um, I'm still going to set my face but not super matte because I still want my shine to show. The one I'm going to be using is the Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in the color Banana. 
So again, I'm going to be taking one of my favorite brushes and this is also from Shoppers Drug Mart, which is a drugstore. It's their Quo cool Beauty um, highlighting brush. I believe this one's called a detail highlighter brush. And I like to actually use this to set my powder. So I kind of just like use that and tap it off. I'm just going to go underneath. Like I like when um, my face doesn't look too caked. So that's why I kind of like to dust it on instead of like patting it on with like a beauty blender. As you can see, like my shine is still there, but it's just gonna set my makeup a little bit more lighter instead of like patting it on. Like lately, I haven't been a tr like a fan really of like the new trend where like people are taking their beauty blender and they're dipping it into powder and they're like swiping it or like patting it across their face. I mean, I used to do that, but I find like this really makes it look nicer and it also makes it not feel like you have so much makeup on your skin which is kind of like the point you don't want to like be going out and feel like you have like tons and tons of makeup on your skin sometimes when you put like translucent powder it tends to like really soak up the oils in your skin which tends to make your skin dry throughout the day which is not a feeling that i like so i kind of feel like brush this on so now that I'm done with my face base, I'm actually going to go back with my eye makeup and just fill in under my eyes with the same concept that I did on top. So now that my eye look is done, I'm actually going to be going in with a liquid eyeliner. It's one of my favorites from the drugstore and it's from The Bomb Cosmetics. This one is called Schwing. It's their black liquid liner, but honestly, this eyeliner I've been using for years it's like my go-to like if I need to get an eyeliner if I don't have this one like I'm screwed like I, I don't rely on anything else I do try other ones but I always come back to this one just because the pigment it's so black it's a matte eyeliner which is what I like I don't really like glossy vinyl eyeliners the tip is super thin so you could build it up to a thicker wing but like let me just show you let me just show you what. okay so I'm just gonna take this and as you guys can see the tip is like super thin it's like oh, it's just magic um but i'm gonna start from the inner edge or the inner corner and i'm just gonna go all the way to the end like this you do this slowly take your time with it and just create like how long you want the wing i'm gonna go about that and i'm just gonna join it like that so I have a little bit of like a triangle which now I can fill in and it's just easier that way you can just draw out the shape and once you draw out the shape you can just add your eyeliner or fill it in so you can see that I have this very beautiful thick kind of winged eyeliner that's super pigmented and it's black I love it so I'm just gonna go and do the other side so now I'm going to be going in with a black liner. This one is one of my favorites. It's actually from Pixie and it's their Endless Silky Eye Pen. And I believe this color is in like black more. I think it's the color. Um, but what I like about this pen is that, or pencil, is that it's a very gel kind of creamy texture. It's very soft on the eyes, but it does not leak from your waterline. So sometimes you want to go for the smudgy eye look, but today I kind of want to look a little bit clean. So I'm going to go in with this liner just at the bottom. So as you can see now, my waterline is fully lined from top to bottom. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go off camera. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to go off camera, put on some lashes and come right back. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and just put some mascara on so when I put on my false lashes, it blends together. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm using a eye lash curler from Quo Cosmetics as well. They have a variety of different eyelash curlers so you can choose which one suits like what kind of look you're going for. But I'm just curling my lashes. They have a little bit of a curl to them. <laughs> So the mascara I'm going to be using today is Essence Lash Princess, the False Lash Effect Mascara. This one in particular is waterproof. They do have ones that are not waterproof as well. So what I like about this mascara is that it does have a really nice tip to allow your lashes to get coated all around them. And it's also really nice when it comes to lengthening your lashes. I just really like how it grabs onto my lashes and pulls them forward so that it, the curl and the lift stays intact all day so this is without um any lashes and this is just like one quote 
or coat so you can see already the difference it's just so beautiful so obviously if I put like two coats like my lashes are gonna be popping and the pigment is really nice as well obviously I got some mascara on my nose because like that's like the biggest habit I have um, but yeah look at my eyes they are very like open but to make them a little bit more open I'm gonna put some lashes on and I'm gonna go in with this mascara at the bottom as well okay so our eyes are done as you can see I put some false lashes and I also did my lashes at the bottom so now it's time to kind of warm up this face a little bit and just bring a little bit more of a structure to it so with that I'm gonna be using a bronzer and the bronzer I'm using today is from Quo Beauty it's their bronzing powder in the number or the color cool contour number 25 so they have a lot of different shades when it comes to bronzer and that's what I really like they have one for each skin tone um, I like this cool one because my skin is more on the neutral side so having something too warm would make it look a little too red but the cool one kind of gives it a little bit of a subtle look without over kind of structuring my jaw if that makes sense or like my face so I'm just gonna go and just apply this all over my face just where I want like it to be more um, contoured okay so now we're done with that let's go in with some blush which is like my favorite part I love blush blush is like my number one staple product when it comes to doing makeup uh, today we're gonna be using a cream blush and it's actually really pigmented so the blush we're gonna be using today is the covergirl clean fresh cream blush in the color butterflies what I like about this blush is that you don't need a lot you literally like I'm only gonna put probably that much like it's so little you don't need that much uh, bluff this one because it's very 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 pigmented I'm gonna show you so I'm just gonna go in with a stippling brush and as you can see like I'm already kind of like putting it on my hand and like the color is just like so pretty and it has like a little bit of like, a glow to it so that's why I like I'm gonna put this on my face and you can already see like the glow that's happening here it's just a really nice youthful but rosy kind of glow and it kind of ties in like the whole look together so because my eyeshadow is kind of like almost this color as well um, it kind of brings the whole look together okay so the next step what I really like to do before I put on any highlighters I like to set my face so I'm actually gonna go in again with the Maybelline glass spray I'm just gonna give it a shake and just give it one spray and just spray it all over my face so we lock in this look with a very like nice dewy kind of finish and now I'm going to go in with my highlighter. So the highlighter I'm using today is the Revolution um, highlighter palette. I think it was a collaboration between Soph. So this has a bunch of different colors that you can use. So I'm going to be going in with this pretty kind of like pinky with a little bit of this bronzy color. I'm just going to mix those two and we're just going to apply it and see. It has like a really nice pink tone to it but like also the highlight is there so I'm gonna apply that onto my cheeks and just the high points of my face okay so I'm gonna be starting off with a lip liner for like this lip look that I'm going for I'm trying to match my eyes if possible so this lip liner is from Quo cool Beauty and it's their lip contour pencil in the color Marvin on up in number 45 so I'm just gonna outline my lips with this color and then go in with another color after so as you can see like this color has like a very like pinky tone to it so I'm just gonna add this and kind of fill my lips with it because I want to add like a brownish color on top but this lip liner is definitely very smooth it glides on the pigment is there but now I'm gonna go in with a glossy kind of satin lipstick just to kind of complement and bring this look together the lipstick I'm gonna be using is from Milani it's called tied up and it's a really nice kind of brown sheer kind of lipstick so I'm just gonna take this now and kind of just bring this all together so it kind of mixes in with the pink of that lip liner with the brown of the lipstick and as you can see it gives you like a very glowy kind of 
very healthy plump look for my lips so I let go my hair just so I don't look super crazy <laughs> like how I did before um, but I love how this look came together it's very simple but yet glam but yet glowy it kind of just like brings a glow to my face which I really like it makes my skin look healthy especially with the shimmers on top of my eyes I didn't do too much but the shimmer really added that like pop of color and kind of brought attention to the eyes as well I like how my lips have like this glowy thing going on as well so like pretty much my whole Base, like the theme is a very pretty glowy look um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this beauty on a budget look today if you guys want to see more please do like comment and subscribe I know I said that I'm gonna try to make this a constant um, series on my channel I'm honestly trying to get a little bit more on YouTube now because my sole base is on Instagram where I do more of my content but I'm gonna try to do some YouTube content for you guys and I definitely have a lot of fun with this beauty on a budget because it's so fun just looking for like little um, products that at the drugstore that are really good so yeah I hope you guys really like this look and I'll see you guys next time stay flawless